Some parents in Howard County want their children back in the classroom. They even have gone as far as to sue the Board of Education to make sure that it happens. Joseph Ojo spoke with two parents behind the lawsuit. The two parents behind this lawsuit say that having a student board member who is a minor decide on the fate of schools reopening is unethical. But the Board of Education says that their policies are in alignment with the law. For parents like Tracy Spiegel and Kim Ford in Howard County. It's um, isolating for my children. We've had to drop levels of difficulty of classes. Online learning has been a challenge. I've had to take leave and now I'm watching them closer and I'm, I'm having to facilitate virtual learning probably 20 to 30 hours a week for both my kids. Howard County leaders voted to extend virtual learning through mid-April and one of the leaders to vote on this controversial decision happens to be a student board member. 17, 18, he doesn't have the life experience to know the impact of no exams, no accountability for students. The two parents say that a child voting makes no sense. That's why they filed a lawsuit against the county's Board of Education calling their actions unethical because according to Maryland law, no one under 18 may vote in local elections. I wouldn't want my minor, my 17 year old daughter making decisions on 58,000 kids going back to school or staying virtual. In a statement to Fox 45 News, the board says that in 2007, the law was changed to increase the Howard County School Board of Education to seven adult members and one student member with partial voting rights. I really think the Howard County Board of Education adults that are putting the pressure on this minor to vote, I think they should be ashamed of themselves. The board for now is standing by their decision, but parents want to see some form of a hybrid learning where kids and parents can decide what works best for them. Joseph Ojo, Fox 45 News.